Is the Google Pixel 3a the best mid-range smartphone? Stay tuned for my review. Hey everyone, I'm Simon, your guide to all things tech. And today, I'm taking a look at the Google Pixel 3a. I was lucky enough to borrow my friend's Pixel 3a, and I gotta say, I like this phone a lot. The first thing I notice about this phone is that it's super light. It weighs 147 grams. That's roughly around five ounces. The phone fits nicely in my hand. It doesn't feel too small or too big. Let's break down the specs. It has a 5.6 inch display. You can also get the 3A XL, which has a 6.0 inch display. It's using a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670, 64 gigabytes of storage space, four gigabytes of RAM, and look, the miraculous headphone jack is back. USB-C, 18 watt fast charging capabilities, Bluetooth 5.0 with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, NFC, full high definition OLED display. The resolution is at 2220 by 1080 at 441 PPI. The phone on the stereo speakers are pretty decent as well. Here's a sound test. It also has a 12.2 megapixel single rear camera and a 8 megapixel front facing camera. The rear camera can record video quality up to 4K at 30 frames per second and the front facing camera can record video up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The OLED display is crisp and sharp and even though the phone is using an older processor it doesn't feel slow at all. One of the things that the Pixel gets praised a lot for is the camera. So I did a single camera shootout with the Pixel 3a, the iPhone XR, and another mid-range phone that came out last year, the Moto E5 Plus. Let's take a look at some photos and videos. In terms of steel quality, I gotta rank the Pixel 3a at number 1, the iPhone XR is second place, and in last place is the Moto E5 Plus. The Pixel 3a and the XR are a draw when it comes to video. Moto E5 Plus doesn't even come close. Of course there are a few things that I didn't like about the Pixel 3a. The material quality on the phone feels very plastic, and they're kinda cheap. No wireless charging, it's not certified for water resistance. It uses an older processor. It's only available in one storage size, 64 gigabytes, and there's no way to expand it. The power and lock button is placed way too close to the volume buttons. I found myself hitting the volume button more often when I try to lock the phone. Battery life is okay. I get almost a day of usage before I need to charge it. Overall, this phone is great. If I know someone who's on a budget and they ask me which smartphone to get, I would definitely recommend the Pixel 3a. But what do you guys think of the Pixel 3a? Do you own one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in getting the Google Pixel 3a, I'll have a link in the description below. Also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to get notified of new episodes.